This lesson would deal with two subjects, declaring variables and dealing with mathematical functions. To declare a variable, we type in that variable, let's call it y, we set an equal sign, and maybe I can declare it as a mathematical expression, 3 times 3. You notice now y rather than the answer a and s equals 9. I have a variable name y and that equals 9 and I have again in the command history. If I wanted to just type y equals 4, I could just set y equal to a certain number. I can do x equals 10 and set that in uh, into that number. You notice that every time I type in an expression, hit enter, I get the answer coming back. If I wanted to do z equals 5, but I know that the answer is 5, and I don't want to see it, again, I use a semicolon, and when I hit enter, the answer doesn't appear. How do I know that z equals 5? If I go to the workspace, it's showing me that it equals 5. So now I have three variables, x, y, and z. If I just typed x and hit enter, it's going to bring back the value of x. If I type y and enter, it brings back the value of y. If I type in capital Y and enter, you notice it says, I don't recognize it. Variables are case sensitive. When you type a variable, my recommendation is put in lowercase. But you always need to remember the case. Now, I'm typing a lot in a command window. I want to do something new. I want to delete it. What I could do, rather than remember that command, which was CLC, is go inside the command window, click on the right mouse button, and I get a shortcut menu. One of the things I could do is say clear command window and you notice it says do not show this prompt again. I don't need it. Click OK and that's the same as clearing it. If I wanted to clear the command history, I go into that command window, I right click and here I can do clear command history and say yes. Finally, I could if I wanted to either delete each variable or I could type in the word clear and that will clear all the variables. Now that I have another word clear, how do I get rid of the word clear in the command window? Remember, we right click and we clear the command window. Now we're ready to start again. What I want to do now is to use some mathematical functions. For example, I want to say y equals e to the second power. Well, e to the second power is exp, parenthesis, and the second power would be 2. If I hit enter, now y is e squared, which is 7.3891. What are some other mathematical functions? Well, if I said x equals minus 1, and then I wanted to take the absolute value of x, what am I going to get? I should get 1, and sure enough, I get the absolute value of x. What about if I said y equals 3, and then I wanted to take the log of y. What kind of log is this? This is natural log. How do I do log to the base 10? It's log of 10 of y. And that will give me the appropriate answer. I also could do square roots. If I want to do square root, it's SQRT of 10. 
and lo and behold, I get the square root of 10. Now, once again, I want to start from the top. I don't have to. I'll right click, clear command window. The last mathematical function I want to talk about is trigonometric, sine, cosine, and tangent. What do I think sine is? Well, it's going to be sine, S-I-N, of x. So I'm going to do y equals, and I want to do sine of 90 degrees. And we know the sine of 90 degrees is 1. But lo and behold, that's not what I get. And the reason I'm not getting that answer is that the argument inside the sine needs to be in radians. How do I convert from degrees, which is what I typed, to radians? Well, I know that there are pi radians in 180 degrees. So what I'm going to do is actually type in a variable called convert, or C-O-N-V. And I'm going to say that convert is going to take whatever I type in as degrees and convert it to radians. So therefore, there are pi radians, and pi is an actual variable in MATLAB, and I'm going to divide that by 180, and since I don't want to see the answer, I'm just going to put in the semicolon. Well, there's my convert value, and I see the actual expression. Now what I can do is type the same answer, y equals sine of 90, but that's in degrees. How do I convert that to radians? I multiply it by a variable. What should I get now? I should get 1. What about cosine of 45 degrees? Well, I can say z equals cosine of 45 degrees, but once again I have to convert that to radians, and now I'm going to use the same variable, convert, and now I'm going to get 0.7071. can do the same thing with tangent. So you have a number of mathematical functions, square root, exponentiation, absolute, log, both log to the 10 and exponential, and trigonometric.